When Minnesota's town ball teams take the diamond this year, they want to sell stronger beer and seltzer, not that 3.2 stuff. <laughs> no, but that would take legislative action. And today, lawmakers took a step toward making that happen. Political reporter Theo Keith joining us now. And Theo, to understand this issue, you've got to kind of zoom out. Yeah, maybe more than any other issue at the Capitol. The one guarantee about major liquor law changes is that there generally aren't any. Anything that upsets one of the three tiers of producers, distributors and retailers typically dooms that issue. But lawmakers think they're closer than ever this year. Where better to explain than at the ball field? The first pitch of the town team baseball season went out to Minnesota lawmakers. Baseball's a big part of my life. Green Isle Mayor Joe Krieger is VP of the Minnesota Baseball Association. His hometown Irish gets 75% of their income from beer sales. But the only stuff they can legally sell, 3.2% alcohol, is in short supply. The 3.2 is going to run out. And last year was actually not good. Definitely had a lot of off brands and we did what we could. But sales were down because of that. It's not that great of a beer. At the Capitol, lawmakers like Waconia Republican Jim Nash have drafted up a change, giving cities the go-ahead to let their team sell any beer or seltzer. And that's a huge part of how they make their money and they contribute to the community. And so it's time to get this fixed. Here's where it gets complicated. Minnesota has a three-tiered system of producers, distributors, and retailers. Any change that gives one tier a little more of the market means the others get a little less. All three have allies at the Capitol, so year after year, not much gets done. But then Friday, on a 14 to 1 vote, the House Commerce Committee approved a liquor bill with some long discussed changes. It lets Minnesota's larger craft brewers like Summit and Surly sell growlers. Smaller brewers could sell six packs. And yes, town team baseball could sell strong beer and seltzer. We have an opportunity in passing this bill, not just to get some work done, but also to set the stage for peace, not just for one year, but for a period of time, for five years. Of course, this could all end like years past. Back in Green Isle, the mayor predicts if nothing happens, some Minnesota teams who run out of 3-2 beer will break the law to stay afloat. They're probably going to go to the local liquor stores, buy strong beer and resell it and hope nobody says anything. And that's just the honest truth of what is going to happen. This again is far from a done deal. In fact, the powerful chairman of the Commerce Committee in the Senate, Gary Dames, who has blocked changes in recent years, did not return a request for comment left through a spokeswoman. BC, Karen. All right, Theo, thank you.